we're just about to head off and we're going to be going fishing some rough ground and trying to catch some large wrasse. Just going to uh, we're going to check our single pot because it's good to reposition it at low tide like this. But we also want to see if there's any small crab in it for bait, like the, the uh, velvet swimming crabs. I don't know. So it's hard to know with this pot. It's just plonked in the open. This one. Spider crab in it. And of course the day you could do with lady crabs we don't have any when it comes up um so we didn't catch any crab little crabs in the other pots so we're going to try this one to see if we can still get some bait or extra bait Ooh, I see something in that one. Not bait though. <laughs> I just saw it. I saw it through the hole. Yeah, a bit of its back. So I'm hoping it's a bigger one. Sounds big. Yep. I reckon that's on the gauge. All right, let's just see what we have. Let's have a quick peek, sneak peek. <laughs> Sneaky peeky. Can't know if I'm actually seeing anything. Close. Oh damn it! It's not a lady crab. That's what we wanted was for bait. Yeah? So I put it back then. Uh, well, we, we can we can keep hold of it. For now. That's <laughs> a nice lobster, actually. That that's uh, that actually is very nice. That's a lovely one there. There you go. Lovely job, eh? Perfect. Perfect. Look at that for a shot. Lovely sky. Lovely lobster. doing some ras fishing so basically that's it just a three-way sort of setup i've sort of cheated a bit today i'm just using the one swivel that i was on this rod and just tied the weight to the back of the swivel but the swivel's on a line which will snap it's only about 20 pound or less the trace is 30 pound and uh yeah we're going to try and uh see if we can get some ras we've only got a handful of crabs but it should be enough Over there is like sand, but you probably need to be in the boulders and kelp. So okay. you can throw it on the sand if you don't want to get jammed up all the time. But, and you need to be on the bottom, like, and leave it slack a bit so that the uh, you're not moving it around, otherwise you just snag the bottom. Because you only want to move it off the bottom once you've hooked the fish. You get my drift. So tie that to the just tie it onto the back of the swivel, the back. Yeah, that one. Tie it to that roughly. Just flattened it. Right. Don't put it too far because the angle will struggle with a big rasp and just get straight to the bottom. I'd only flick it out right, a little bit. There's a very small fish cracking at this, or it's something on there. Ras, ras fishing. <laughs> Check your bait. You've had points, and you haven't had any more. There you go. Nice little ras.
Oh. Yep. There we go, that's what we're after. Good size rockfish. That. It's a cracker, that one. Got me, what, three to four? Four pound, maybe? Something like that. That's what you want. He's about that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not convinced your bait's going to be there. You should be getting close. Yep. Yeah, bait's gone. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Guess we'll try and thread it down the long way, like that. Get you into position for a big fish. Right, make sure you don't move it around the bottom. At the same time, then have it too slack. If your bike start tightening up, just so you're holding it, but don't drag your bike. Give it time. Don't strike straight away. Not unless it almost rips the rod out of your hand, then strike it, obviously. Right, Rebecca's going into action. We're going to get it all on film. She's going for the big one. We've baited her up. We've put it out there. Now we're just waiting. If that's pulling, if oh, she's in. She is in. Oh, it's a screamer. It's an absolute screamer. Do I need a landing net? This is the question. Let's get this fish up. Oh, it's a lovely fish. I'm getting the landing net out for this one. Bring it over. Bring it over. There you go. Yay. <laughs> it's bigger than yours just remember who baited up and threw it out of you into position oh yeah but i bought it in i struck it i bought it in. <laughs> right let me get, get the hook out. let me get the hook out and you can just watch the, the teeth because you can see the teeth in. i'm going to draw your attention to the sizes just remember who set you up there oh yeah who baited it up for you, who threw it out for you, and then who sat there while not fishing, wanted to get you, and that was beautiful. <laughs> Look at that mama. But it was beautiful timing though. What, don't put your fingers in his mouth because you can crack limpets with those jaws. Just put your fingers under the gill bit there because you'll be taking that one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you can't get older, of him, eh? Just careful you don't lose him over the side because that wouldn't be funny. There you go. Cracker. My fish. <laughs> ha! There you go, there's a belter there. That's a yeah, uh, four pounder, five pounder maybe? Easy. Five? Will it make six? I don't know. It's a lovely fish though. There you go, let's get back to it and see if we can get another one. <laughs> I could feel, I felt it go thump thump as I pulled it up. Where's that crab? One more shot. One more shot. I'm thin it down a bit so it's just hook. Not things that can stop it getting hooked. Right. Last chance. I don't know if it's Well, I'm glad it clouded over. You get continuity on some of the video stuff. Yeah. This won't take long. Got a big white piece of bait with a crown like that down there. I'm 
Not big, but the rest. Yup. There you go. Rest, rest, rest. Yeah. yeah, it's very slippery things. I want to try something quickly. Got a plastic worm in some kind of juice that they reckon is like, oh yeah, oh, it's quite gooey. I'm going to put one of these on. Because I've never caught anything on these sort of things, but it's the first time. This could be it. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Try and move them around a bit, that might. You know if it's a bite because the rock has got really sharp teeth. So there won't be much lure left on there if they've bitten into it. Let's have a look at it. Probably looks exactly the same as it went down. Or is it gone? It's still there, still there. completely untouched. Yeah. That's the thing with it, you see, it's more of a I think it's more of a lure thing where you would have to sort of tow it. Spin with it. Right. Casting at the end. Boat wheel. Them skills. Right. See if we can sort of drag it along and see if something will grab it. I got one more test. One more test. Just for fun. Yeah. Well, there's always the squid. So I'll piece the squid. Yeah. One more test. A leg and a claw. Okay. If I can get them to stay on the hook. Might be the challenge. Yes, I'm still a little bit. I'm going to try to find that. The leg. Claw and a leg, right? Versus the saltwater soft lures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's face it, this works. How many legs on a crab? There you go. <laughs> you got you got a day's fishing. Yeah, it's it, one one or two crabs. Oh, I missed him. But yeah, straight away though. Straight away, yeah. Like I said, so a leg on there. Yeah. Go just with the leg. Hooks 3 0, so it's quite a large hook, but that's the size I like to use for ras fishing. Anything smaller, but it will bend out on those, or can bend out, especially when you get to your six and a half and sevens. There you go, on a leg. <laughs> See, there's the leg. There's, there's the, the fish. <laughs> what about using the same bit of leg? Can we catch another fish on the same leg? I have every hope. I'll be there. Oh look, the leg is still there. Yes. 
Yep, that'll do. There you go, that's ras fishing. Big ras fishing. So we've just seen something in the water again. I'm, I got a feeling it might be another dead bird. We're gonna find out in a minute. Well, just some rubbish. That looks like a gannet to me. Another one. Yeah, that's another dead gannet. We're seeing a lot of dead gannets. So there we have it, a couple of the real big rats that uh, we caught. We kept these, these we kept for food. Uh, we kept a couple for bait as well because they are excellent lobster bait. And uh, but yeah, good day, good day. We weren't there long. What were we there for? An hour or so fishing, something yeah, like that. It wasn't long. We we just went around there for a bit of ras fishing. And uh, yeah, we only had like well, I don't know what we had eight crabs or something. We didn't have many crabs, not even that. We ran out of bait basically, so we weren't going to be there that long.